Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, which is all about helping people navigate their spiritual awakening or ascension process. And today's video is going to talk about the dark night of the soul. And more specifically, give you guys seven signs that'll let you know very clearly if you are in fact going through the proverbial dark night of the soul, which will hopefully give you some comfort knowing that you're all good. You're on the path of awakening on the road to enlightenment, and this is a good thing. And the dark night of the soul experience is only temporary. So number one is a lot of confusion and a sense of losing your identity. You don't really know who you are anymore, where you stand, what your place is in the world. You have a lot of things in your life that are breaking down and yet new things have yet to present themselves. You're sort of in like limbo, in the void, in no man's land. And before, a lot of the things that now have broken down used to give you a sense of identity. Perhaps you had a particular job, a uh, title, or in a particular relationship, and even many other unconscious sources of identification. Maybe you were really into like uh, painting and now like, you just don't wanna paint anymore. And again, a lot of loss, a lot of breakdown, which leads to the feeling of not knowing who you are, and, and also combined with a lot of just confusion. You don't have mental clarity. Number two, your life is changing and transforming faster than you can keep up with emotionally. You know, we're used to a certain pace of life. We make a move, a little bit of a, a little bit of stress during that transition, and then we kind of camp out for a while and you know, take a breath and just kind of chill out. There, there's no chilling out. There's no chance to relax. You are constantly moving from one massive change to the next, and this can go on for a span of years. And this is just very hard emotionally. Your emotions are going crazy. They're not used to this speed. They're not used to constantly stepping into the unknown and all this anxiety and all your, all your stuff is just flaring up. But if you're going through this and you are in fact on the path of awakening and that brings forth a lot of a faster speed at which you experience life only because the whole idea is you let go into the flow and you can handle that speed. But initially, you experience and your reaction to the speed and constantly going into the unknown is that of fear and hesitation. But that'll eventually be transformed to like a childlike excitement and giddiness. You will be excited to step into the unknown because you don't know what's gonna happen. And you will come to learn through just your own experience that change usually means you moving on and progressing to bigger and better things. You have a lot of physical symptoms like lethargy, you know, chronic fatigue, insomnia, you're sleeping all the time, general aches and pains. You just generally feel older. You feel old. Even if you're 50, you feel like you're 90. I felt like I was 100 for years. Um, just you get sick all the time and you're constantly presented with these very uh, seemingly alarming physical symptoms, issues, ailments, illnesses that drive you crazy mentally and then you go to, the, get, go to the doctor and get checked out and they're like, dude, you're fine. And you're constantly just battling with, you're, you're never f quite there physically. The awakening process takes its toll on your body. There's a lot going on spiritually, but also literally and physically in your physical, physiological vessel that you're kind of walking around in. More of your soul is coming in and is pushing out all of the stuff that you've been holding on to that is preventing more of your soul from being embodied uh, gracefully in your physical vessel. And this just creates and wreaks a little bit of havoc on your body temporarily. But it, again, it's quite concerning. Oftentimes the physical issues tend to correlate with an emotional problem. And oftentimes it can actually benefit because you can sort of, you know, many times uh, decide what the emotional problem is based on the perhaps repetitive physical ailment you keep experiencing. This is all normal though, but it's a pain in the ass. You're constantly being presented with incredibly challenging life circumstances, real core problems, you could say, financial instability, instability within your relationships. Maybe there's problems with your house and you have to make a sudden move. Um, a lot of these big things that are just heavy situations for the mind, the body, the emotions to deal with, and it's just kind of one after the other. And a lot of times this is just a sort of a, it's meant to penetrate to the core because if you get into a little fender bender, yeah, you might be a little freaked out, but it might not reveal and, and help you, assist you in bringing up 
a real core issue that you that's just deeply locked away and cart compartmentalized from your consciousness it sometimes takes you losing your job and think like oh my god how am i going to survive i have all these bills i have no income i have no job leads i, I lost my job abruptly i my thing you know and it puts you into like that real like fight or flight deep human instinctual fear and 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 and, and it, but that allows you to finally deal with a lot of your core issues oftentimes Fortunately, prior to this insanity I just described, you get like a magical, divine, or mystical experience that sort of is helpful, even though it doesn't seem to help in the moment of your problems and your dark night of the soul. It, it oftentimes that happens prior to this mess to sort of kind of give you an idea that you are you are awakening spiritually, you are on the path of enlightenment, and yes, this does kind of suck, but you had that glimpse to kind of keep you going. If you would have had never had that glimpse, then maybe you wouldn't make it mentally, you know? So that, that doesn't always happen. Some of you guys are real badasses and don't have anything nice and airy-fairy happen to you that, that allows you to understand on an experiential level that magic and divinity truly does exist. So when you descend and plummet into your dark night of the soul, you again, you have that frame of reference to sort of cling to in your darkest hour. You experience a lot of very intense, fearful things that you're not quite comfortable talking about. You might have really weird experiences at nighttime, very vividly and horrifying dreams, um, outer body experiences. Maybe you perceive like demonic entities in your vision. You have weird like emotions and fears, like deep darkness just kind of rush over you for no reason. A lot of like scary shit that you, again, you, you, you feel alone because you can't go and talk to your, your friends and buddies about this. They're gonna think you're nuts. So not only is this so challenging and combined with all the other symptoms, but you, you're having all these really mind-bogglingly scary and startling and daunting experiences that you, you feel like you're, you're alone with. You have no one to go to. You have no one to talk to with. And number seven, as you are going through these challenges, oftentimes the mind is conditioned to seek out little simple pleasures that perhaps in the past gave you joy, like uh, even just watching television and going on the internet or whatever, uh, you know, other, any, any, it could be really anything, but there were things in your life that you used to be able to, to do that make you feel better if you're going through a rough time. And those things don't work at all anymore. You're finding it impossible to derive joy from the out, from anything outside of yourself. And you feel again, just completely trapped in all those seven things I just mentioned. And it's, you see why they termed it the dark night of the soul. It's so, dark and it's, it's it's challenging and I found during the span of my eight nine years of awakening that I would lapse into those stages to varying degrees um, in and out quite frequently and uh, with no discernible pattern within that whole awakening experience okay it's not just one bad night I wish that was the case you guys know that by now and it's not just well you got to put in your three months it's it's an unforeseen amount of time that just depends on you as a soul but again, all this is indicative of you going through a spiritual awakening process. And oftentimes, in between those dark, those proverbial dark nights or dark periods, you're, giving, you're given glimpses of where your consciousness is expanding to, how light you're actually becoming, how connected you're actually becoming. That always fades away and you plummet back into the darkness, but you at least get these little glimmers where you, you can say, okay, I know this sucks, but I'm, I am actually heading somewhere. This is leading me someplace. And I, I have nothing more to share than just, just hang in there, man. You're going to be fine. It's a good thing. Label this as just part of the process, and it means you're, you're going places, man. You're, you're one of the few rare souls who are awakening right now, and that really implies not only are you going to discover who you really are, not only are you going to have all these really neat psychic abilities that you can use to play around in your world with, you're going to become financially abundant, self-empowered, confident, good-looking. All the, all the things that you deep down want but don't really believe is possible, you're going to have. Your awakening is going to force you to embrace all the things within yourself that are illusory in nature and preventing you from being a badass, a, a human freaking badass person who has got it all the kind of person who people say, oh my God, 
and they're gonna envy you because you're just gonna have this aura. You're gonna be benevolent. You're gonna be you're just a loving person. You're gonna have the looks that everything. So it's it's worth it. That's why it, you know it's uh, and maybe maybe when you finally get to that stage, it wouldn't be as uh, satisfying if you didn't have to struggle a bit on the way. I don't know. I don't know why we experience it. Maybe you you know I also imagine that people experience this to varying degrees. I experienced it kind of hardcore for quite a while there. Maybe you can skip over some of it. I don't know, but I made this video to you so you guys know you're not alone, you're not going crazy, and get excited. Get excited about your awakening.